me again. And um, I know I said I was going to be talking about players and teams and uh, all the things that have happened over the last 40 years. But because of the things that are going on aside from that, I thought I'd uh, sort of catch up on something that I also think is kind of important. And that is this particular posting is the 18th serving of Ray's Buffet. And those of you who are new to this channel or me or whatever are, are asking, what is Ray's Buffet? Well, let me give you a quick crash course. Uh, in my explanations that I've put up of what's, or the descriptions of what I've been writing about, one of the hashtags is hashtag cancer. So what do all these basketball posts have to do with cancer? Actually, nothing. However, short version, I was diagnosed with cancer. I went through the treatment. I didn't like the treatment, so I decided to stop the treatment. And uh, the raised buffet thing has to do with, instead of me trying to tell people, you know, oh, you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that, I'm not an influencer by any way, shape, or form. So what I do want to do, though, is put out on the table what I've gone through and let people pick and choose pieces that they like or don't like and decide for themselves whether they or someone they know who has cancer, whether they should continue treatment, start treatment, stop treatment, or whatever. Because basically, it's your choice. As far as I'm concerned, I was at a point where uh, I was rather dissatisfied with what was going on with the treatment, uh, and I didn't feel good about it, and decided about 13 months ago to stop treatment completely. Uh, since that time, things have gotten considerably better for me physically and mentally uh, to the point where I was able to go back to doing all the stuff that I used to do, and that's where we are right now. So, um, recently I can tell you that um, I had a blood work done and the PSA continues to go up. Uh, the doubling rate for those of you who know anything about this particular aspect of it, the doubling rate is mm, not really acceptable and neither is the PSA number itself. Uh, I'm not gonna go into all the details, but uh, let's just say it's considerably over four. You can, well, it's 300 and something or other, um, which is not good. The doctors didn't like it when I went in last week. I had a, 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 a scan last week. Um, I'm sorry, I had an MRI last week and they found some additional stuff and they're not sure exactly what it is. So in 12 or 13 days, I have a CT scan and a PET scan scheduled and they'll try to determine what those things are. Um, overall, I feel pretty good. Uh, the last five weeks, it's gone between discomfort and pain occasionally, um, but I can live with it. Um, so that's where we are. Uh, at this point, I still feel that my choice to discontinue treatment was right for me. Whether it's right for you or your family member or friend uh, is something that you guys have to decide on your own. Um, to finish up on that, uh, the last consultation with my doctors was that they want to start a different treatment uh, with different hormone therapy, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and they want me to think about it. But they want to do the PET scan and the CT scan first, and then decide from there. Um, I personally am at the point where I can deal with the discomfort that I'm having better than I dealt with the side effects of all the medications. Uh, if you want to know what all of that was, uh, you can go to the website that's posted. Uh, that's rayritzbball.org. And on the menu, look at Ray's Buffet. 
and it'll take you through number one through 17 and you'll be able to see um, what I was going through and why I chose to do what I'm doing. Again, nothing I say here has any medical value whatsoever. I have no clue in terms of how you should deal with your particular situation and I certainly don't want to encourage anybody to do anything. I'm just telling you how it was for me and you can take that and put it in your equation. So that's all of this particular edition of Ray's Buffet. Like I said, my next post will deal with uh, the players that were involved in those camps and what happened with them in the two, three, four years after those camps began. So um, that's it for now. See you next time. website is not rayritzbball.org, it's rayritzbball.com. That's it.